we know President Trump's pretty adamant that things must change within the deal, that it must become a better deal. We've heard people say that it's the best that uh, can be achieved. Is there any willingness from countries other than the United States, and I'm talking France, Britain, uh, Russia here, to put pressure on the United States to change what it sees as an unfair deal? Well, first of all, all those countries you mentioned have a united position uh, on the need to keep the nuclear deal. This is a historic achievement, and it took them 12 years of intense diplomacy to get to this historic achievement. And now all those countries, the members of the P5 plus one, uh, except the United States, are all united to keep this deal. President Macron is having a good relationship with the American president, and he is going to use this visit to try to lobby um, the, the American president to try to stay out of this unilateralism. And Macron also insists on the need to have multilateralism. This is key to his foreign policy. And this is what he's going to try to achieve uh, during this trip. Let's be clear about this. The U.S. president's been in office for more than a year. This 90-day deadline has, has come round um, every three months, and uh, the deal has not been abandoned. So what makes it more likely that President Trump will walk away this time? Well, first of all, the, the deal is not working the way it should be, because uh, the Iranians are waiting for the lifting of sanctions, and right now they are complaining that they are respecting their part of the bargain. The IAEA has said 10 times that Iran is respecting its commitment. But the, the fact that sanctions are not fully lifted is creating uncertainty for businesses and even European businesses to go back to Iran and invest billions of dollars into the Iranian market. Therefore, this is why Emmanuel Macron is having a different position than the United States for many different reasons, economic interests, but also for non-proliferation uh, interest. Well, just to, so just to explain to us, Mr. Jokar, if, if you wouldn't mind, um, why, if it has been agreed that sanctions should be lifted, and everybody, it seems, except the United States, uh, believes they should have been lifted, why that, that hasn't happened so far? Well, this is the difficulties of American politics, and this time this is on the U.S. side to, to respect its part of the bargain. Under President Obama, the U.S. Congress, the Republican-led Congress, was opposed to the full implementation of, the, of the, the nuclear deal. And John Kerry and the Obama administration was lobbying Congress to respect uh, this multilateral agreement that is enshrined in a United Nations Security Council resolution. So right now, the Trump administration is, uh, well, President Trump, he was elected on the promise that he would destroy the deal. Right now, he's, he's, he hasn't done so because that would put the entire blame on the United States. But the fact that he's creating uncertainty is a way to, to kill the deal, even though he's still officially in the deal. So now we have to see what's going to happen on May 12th. But right now, the, the many uh, countries of uh, many signatories to the deal are already complaining about uh, the role of the United States in the implementation of this deal. Thank you. That's uh, Milad Joka talking to us uh, from northern France.